first thing that attracted me to Reckitt Ben Kiesa was um, such a major player in the pharmaceutical industry, so it was top of the list when I came to filling in application forms. The selection process is quite clear because I applied to the graduate scheme, so it's all laid out on the graduate scheme website. Um, you fill in a fairly standard application form, you go to an assessment day, um, I was really nervous on the assessment day because there was five chemists in the room and just me, and I have a biology degree, so when they gave us a chemistry test I thought I'd failed. In the end, you know, it was okay, I got accepted. After that you come on site to hold for interviews with some of the directors, and then after that I got offered the job, so in the end it all worked out okay. The best thing about working in research and development is that you get to design the product right at the start. You, you start with 100 grams on the lab bench and three years later you see it fly off the factory lines in the finished packaging. So you really do see it from start to finish. For me, I think the greatest achievement is something really personal. I work quite closely um, with an industrial placement student. They um, had spent two years at university and then they come to RB or another company for a year and then they go back to university and do their final year. Um, and as an example, one student who just left when she first started, she was quite shy, quite nervous, very, very nervous about talking to senior people within the department, and just didn't really know how to handle being in a work situation. Um, and after coaching and training, you just see that they're so much happier to approach somebody, or you see them like winning an argument or having a battle, and you just think, six months ago they wouldn't have had the confidence to do that. Um, and you know it's because that you've encouraged them and you've taught them the right way to approach a person or the right way to handle a situation. That's just really nice. If somebody was looking to apply to Reckitt Mancusa, the advice I would give would be just to be yourself. They're looking for a real mix of cultures and personalities. So don't be afraid to stand out. Don't be afraid to be a bit different. I'd also say don't be afraid to, to speak up and be confident um, because you really need to make sure that your voice is heard. So don't be shy. As a graduate, I think RB's supported my career and ambitions because they give you the opportunity to do uh, three different placements over the course of two years. So you get to see a really wide breadth of the type of R&D that we do. You get to meet loads of different people in supply, loads of different people in marketing. So it means you've got a great network of contacts for anything that you ever want to do. The most exciting thing that I do as part of my job is either working in our factory um, or working in our pilot scale unit because it's kind of on your feet, it's exciting, it's big scale equipment. Yeah, hands-on, making the product in large scale, actually packing it into proper packaging at the end of the thing and it's just so exciting thinking that you designed it and you know it's the real product. If somebody like a friend of mine was looking to join the company um, I'd definitely recommend it to them but first of all I'd ask them if they were happy to work in somewhere that's quite fast-paced, quite dynamic and that can be pressured because those are the kind of ingredients that make the culture at RB really unique but if that's not the kind of culture that you like, then you might not like working at RB.